Hi everyone, this is Bailey with the Cobbish Memorial Public Library, here to bring to you our first teen STEAM project, a walking paper horse. Kits for this project are available in the teen department on level 4 while supplies last. All the information for this project comes from Frugal Fun for Boys and Girls, and I'll leave a link to the original content down below for you to check out. In your kits, you'll find sheets with instructions and helpful tips to complete the project alongside two types of paper, cardstock and construction paper. You'll also need a ruler, a pair of scissors, and a writing utensil. The first thing you'll want to do is choose which paper you want to initially experiment with. Regardless of which you choose, the paper horse will be made the exact same way. The two papers are just there for you to make more than one horse with, and it give you space to modify your designs, testing for differences and precision. So you can use both and see how your horses turn out. I'll demonstrate the walking horse with construction paper. Begin the horse by drawing a rectangle with the specified dimensions. 15 centimeters long and 4.5 centimeters high. As you mark out your 15 centimeters in length, you can divide this space into three equal sections that are 5 centimeters long each. In terms of height, you'll want to divide the two outer boxes that are 5 centimeters long into three additional sections that run horizontally. Each of these should be 1.5 centimeters. After you connect the lines, you can cut out your shape. Like the previous diagram showed you, the four outer corners will be the legs, the middle section is the body, and the two inner pieces will be the head and tail. The next step is to make a small diagonal cut on each of the legs as shown here. These marks will allow the horse to truck back and forth when it's on an incline. How steep the cuts are is up to you and is experimental. You can try making horses with varying steepness on the diagonal cuts to see what works best. Now, you can cut off the slanted lines on the legs as well as cut along the portions of your horse that correspond to the green dashed lines, as indicated by the diagram on the screen. These incisions will make it so that the legs, tail, and head are able to be bent away from the body. The head and tail can be bent up toward the body, while the legs go in the opposite direction by being folded downward so that the paper can stand. You can also curl your tail for improved balance. To achieve this, I'm using my pencil and running it along the tail in a curved motion. For the head, we're going to try to make it resemble a horse by folding it in half downward. Now that there's a crease at the head portion of the construction paper, you have a more distinguished head and neck. Extend the paper back out and curve the sides of the head upwards and inwards to create a snout or muzzle. Now that you have the horse itself made, it's time to test out whether it can walk. Here is a video demonstration of a horse Fallon and I made. Test the horse on different slopes with varying heights, and employ materials that have varying amounts of friction to see how it affects the horse's ability to move down it. 
You may also find that you need to tweak your horse's design, like the height of its head or the pointiness of its feet. All of these factors will make for unique results. You can even race your designs with friends to see who will win. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you with another project soon.